I actually loved the Chloe show this afternoon. I really thought it was one of the best Chloe collections in so many seasons, you know, with everyone feeling this very romanticized, bohemian, gypsy spirit of a girl. To see the, the first few exits coming out, gorgeous hand-cut lace. It actually had a bit of a peacock design in it, which also gave it a bit of an exoticism that is on everybody's mind through the entire fashion cycle. I really was happily surprised at the direction it took. It's become a bit more girly, shorter, and it did have much more referencing to the old, the Chloe of old, which I always adored. Super sweet dresses, but I loved how they were given a bit of an urban edge with a gladiator sandal, either to the knee or an ankle-length gladiator sandal in nude or kind of a sand color, which I thought was super chic. I just could imagine the Ibiza girl wearing that look, swanning down a beach, all the loose away from the body, but the tiny little spaghetti straps and all the macrame and the legs. I just loved it, I did. I was, un you know, I, I went there expecting one thing and really saw something that was like brilliant. I loved it. I thought Chloe was very um, boho chic. I mean, that house really kind of originated that look. And the founder, Gabby, died just over the weekend, so it was kind of a reminder of, of what she's given to fashion. I'm such a fan of Claire anyway. I, I think she's so talented and, and I just think, I think she's taking it to the next level. Like, you know, everyone knows what the Chloe aesthetic is, but she just seems to be, you know, moving it forward and keeping it modern, and it's so feminine, but it, it's just got that little edge that she gives it, and you know, I think it was a, a fitting tribute, given that Gabby had died the day before, and it was beautiful, it was beautiful. denim all over the runway, which I'm always happy to see because I think denim is such an easy story to tell, but it's nice to see new ways of wearing denim as a track pant and a poncho or a super cool maxi dress that snapped up the front. It reminded me a lot of the girls that used to babysit me when I was a kid in the 70s. I also really liked the theme, which was to try to sort of bring some I don't know, some meaning to fabrics and, and sort of imbue them with this history. And so I really like the folkloric embroideries, and all the lace, there was a great lace poncho. I thought it was a really, you know, wearable, fun mix. This felt completely, everything was, was balanced. Even if it was slightly oversized, it was just in the right kind of way. You know, it's interesting also, now, you know, I think our eyes really shifted down into the flats or very, very low shoes. And you can almost even see it as the girls like come down the runway, you can't see their feet yet, but it's the way they move. So between these flat kind of gladiator shoes, poet blouses, just a little bit of safari suede, um, I'm, I'm buying into this trend, that's all I can tell you. I'm, 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 I'm marking look number two. I've, I've, I've got my looks picked out. Anyways, it was really bravo. This was really a, a really perfect collection for Chloe, very Chloe. 
Well, there's a, a nice sense of um, the 70s happening there, and I think um, it'll be a good season for Chloe because um, the 70s are such an important trend for spring. I mean, you know, you, we saw it all over Milan, you know, you know, very peasanty feeling, um, very feminine. Um, you know, you can see all of those dresses sort of at some English countryside wedding next year. Um, so I think it'll be a good season for the brand. Chloe was a very interesting show today. I think Claire, the designer, did a very good job at looking like at the really heritage of the brand and uh, really bringing out that uh, kind of uh, very free-spirited girl that is uh, the Chloe girl. I thought it was a very good show for Chloe and for Claire, one of the best shows that Claire has done. This is really an exquisite collection, and just really speaking to the romanticism that we're loving throughout the entire fashion season and the kind of things that we look for here in Paris. You know, we've seen a lot of this, you know, this kind of beautiful bohemian spirit and really, I mean, what a perfect collection on the eve, honestly, of the passing of the founder of the brand, uh, something that was so quintessentially Chloe, very poetic, very romantic, very kind of innocent. Um, it just, it was, it, it, it floated, it was, it was just, it was incredibly romantic. Mm -hmm.